The ground control is probably one of the single greatest advances in follow spot technology in many, many years. So this is the ground control system. And it is a system, which means there's multiple components to the system. The first, obviously, is the controller itself. It acts like a follow spot. Wherever I move it, the fixtures up in the air follow me. The second component of the, uh, the ground control system is our fiber optic and truss box. It enables us to move the video data and the control data over long distances. We can do it up to 2,000 feet away. The third component of the ground control system is the actual fixture itself. We have three versions. There's the best boy ground control, the bad boy ground control, and the long throw ground control. And basically, there are fixtures that we've optimized for follow spot work and have a built-in high-def uh, camera, and that's the, which is the heart of the ground control system that enables me to view the stage as if I'm sitting right next to the follow spot up in the air. Traditionally, follow spot operators have had to sit in a chair next to a lighting fixture maybe 20 or 40 feet in the air above a stage, pointing a follow spot down at, at the uh, talent down below. The challenge from a production standpoint is, you've got to put those guys to work ahead of everybody else so they can get up into position. It's an unsafe environment for the guys to work in. First of all, they're up off the ground. Secondly, oftentimes there's pyrotechnics all around them that they have to have a respirator on while they're trying to work. And third, they don't get to come down for meal breaks as quickly and uh, they're stuck up there for a long time. This year, the new thing that we're showing is our ground control multi-fixture capability. So what multi-fixture consists of is we have one ground controller and I can have up to 16 other non-ground control fixtures linked to it. So I'm actually here driving one ground controller and hopefully you guys can see that there's four other fixtures panning and tilting around with it. What makes it cutting edge is the natural feel and how intuitive it is for operators to use since it works a lot like a regular follow spot. There isn't a lot of training required. It doesn't require belt packs, it doesn't require sensors, it doesn't require measuring where the fixtures are up in the air. And what's really remarkable is that the beam size also automatically adjusts as a performer walks around on the stage. The guy that used to be stuck up in a chair is safely on the ground, backstage, sometimes under the stage or in a trailer out back. The whole setup of the system takes five minutes. It makes life really, really easy for shows, especially when you're, you have a really compressed load in time. It enables us to put fixtures in places we no, wouldn't normally put fixtures. You can have them on a balcony rail. You could have them on a theatrical counterweight rigging system. You could hang it on a video truss. It really opens up the possibilities of where we can put follow spots. And then in the traditional places where we put follow spots, it compresses the footprint significantly. So if I'm putting a follow spot out in the house and I have to do a seat kills, instead of killing 10 or 15 seats for the platform, I only need two or three for just the fixture. There's no reason that anyone should ever be in a spot tower again.